Hello, everybody. Um, I haven't talked to you guys um on YouTube in a while. I haven't done a video, you know, especially with from this camera since um Dragon Con, and I've been wanting to do more videos, but I haven't. I've been busy so much that I haven't been able to do anything else. Period. Uh, let me fix that. Alrighty. <laughs> um, I have a few things I want to talk about, but I'm going to talk about later. Um, right now, my girlfriend's watching one of her shows. And there's nothing online, so I was kind of bored. So, pretty much decided to do this for a little bit. I'm going uh, to elaborate. I'm going to talk about more things a little later. But, hey, check this out. <clears throat> Julie! Someone to hang out with this summer. Like, I'm a Julian Skipper. Except this little buddy can get you on some killer guest list. You're serious. I don't want to hang out with you. Because you don't want to see me at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I'm going to sit down. Yeah. All right, everyone. It's been a while since I did a video inside the car. Um, as you can see, I'm in a brand new car, um, a Nissan Xterra. So yeah, look at the duckies. Yeah, woo. Um, as you saw from my last group of videos, which w it was supposed to be one video, but you know, certain issues. Um. Um, yeah, this is really close, but, um, I'll point out a few things. Um, number one, um, you know, for one, Dragon Con was a blast. I had probably some of the most fun I've had in my life at a con. Um, it, it was awesome. And meeting Carrie Fisher actually made my day in that con. I mean, there was so many good things that happened during that time, but meeting Carrie Fisher, you know, Princess Leia, was awesome for several reasons. One is like, of course, it's Princess Leia, you know, um, probably one of my, like, her and Linda, um, fuck, I forgot her last name. Her and um, Wonder Woman, the chick that played Wonder Woman in the 70s series, um, I can't remember her name right now. I want to, but my memory screwed. You know, that was my first couple of crushes, you know, um, that I had, you know, and I was, I was a little kid, you know, I was tiny, you know. <laughs> I was practically a baby when, you know, but, yeah, um, yeah, that's for one is, you know, Princess Leia and any other reasons, cause, um, is cause the fact that Kay Fisher also suffers from bipolar disorder like I do, and it was really awesome for me to meet a celebrity that suffers from the same affliction and she's been really outspoken about it you know um which you know when i talked to her and everything and i you know it actually i was trying to hold back tears because of the fact that you know there's a celebrity out there that understood what i've been going through and um there are a few other ones, but she was actually the first one I met. You know, um, which was really good to feel that I'm in good company as far as this disorder. Um, but you know, it was, you know, it was fun and everything. Um, 
Another thing I wanted to talk about is that there was something I saw in the news recently. And, um, you know, this is getting on something as far as, like, for my, um, my Hmong people out there. Um, there was a thing in the news that I read about what happened in North Carolina where it was a Hmong couple, a husband and wife. Husband went into a uh, um, store that the wife worked in. Went to the store that his wife worked in. Shot his wife and then shot himself. And they're saying that it was off a domestic dispute. Now, I understand shit gets crazy. But when it comes to domestic problems or domestic dispute, you know, if your spouse, and I'm, I'm going to say this to Hmong men, if you were married, and yet, you know, at one point you probably loved your wife, if she was like, comes up and be like, I want to leave you, like, you know, if y'all had an argument and it's like, I want to leave you, don't get upset about that shit, you know, I understand Hmong tradition, you know, how much stress, you know, that puts on because you have to follow certain guidelines and rules and stuff. But it's not that hectic to want to go and kill your wife and then kill yourself. It, it really isn't. You know, just off a domestic thing, you know, I was once married to a Hmong woman. I had two kids with her. You know, when she left me, I felt it was justified because it was my fault. To put it quite simple, simply, like, it was my fault she left. You know, how I was at the time. You know, the fact that back then, my bipolar disorder was unchecked. But, she left me, and I didn't want to go and kill her. I didn't want to sit there and be like, kill her, then kill myself. And I suffer from bipolar disorder. It's just to point out there's plenty of fish out there you know and the thing is you don't have to just go for Hmong women you go for any woman out there that you want white women, black women, Hispanic women, other kinds of Asian women, you know it's not that crucial what would possess what would possess some of y'all to do that I don't know and, uh, you know, another story of a Hmong woman killing her kids. Like, murdering her her own child by popping it in the microwave. You know? Yes, I understand there's crazy shit out there, but god damn. You know? You know, I have nothing but love for Hmong people, man. You know, my kids are half Hmong. I was once married to a Hmong woman. I'm currently dating a Hmong woman nothing but love for you guys but damn y'all gotta chill with the craziness but um yeah I have to stop a little bit cause I'm driving hello um this took me a while to get to this portion of the video um a lot of things came up and just been like busy crazy busy and um just to point out i actually i have uh um i have a very enterprising opportunity coming up that i'm going to be working on um that i won't be able to start until next year i'll let everybody know soon but um it's it's a good thing and it's actually pretty awesome um, I'm actually watching one of my friends on video while I'm talking to you on video so yeah being a dork um, I have I have something that I'm working on that that's that is about to happen it's a very big deal for me because it's something that I've been told that people's been wanting me to do for years you know ever since they've seen my artwork and be like oh you're a good artist you should do this so um so um I wanted to 
I wanted to um, get get this going started because it's you know something that will be profitable for me and everything. Um, but um, you know, this video I have to point out. I have nothing against Hmong people. I don't. I love you guys. I mean, freaking my heart is with that, with, with you know, that group of people because of the fact that, because of the fact that, for one, you know, I have two kids that are half mom. My ex-wife was mom. Yeah. And, you know, you would think that I wouldn't have love for Hmong people because of my ex-wife, but, you know, my... You know, despite what happened between us, I still have, you know, mainly because of my kids, you know, and it's my current girlfriend who's also a mom. So, you know, I have, a, I, have, I have a lot of love for that group. It's just something I just wanted to point out and just give advice about because it's just some crazy stuff that I've been hearing uh, hearing about and reading in news and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, there's several things that I want to point out, you know, recapping of, of Dragon Con. I want to talk about new stuff and then this thing. So, that's it for this video. Um, I'm about to go to bed in a bit. So, 